that great and that's because I'm in the process of getting the pink out right now. So it's going to be a little bit two-toned for a while, but at least you can see the haircut and how nice the haircut will look I mean, with straight hair, curly, or wavy hair. So it's a very versatile haircut and that's mainly what I wanted to show you. I know my hair is 50 different colors and that's okay. I'm going to begin by just taking about an inch section right around my front perimeter. I want to make sure that's kind of even. If I were to take this section in the front and bring it down, and if you trim it down, you're not really going to get any layers. The higher you bring this up is the more layers that you're going to get. So my head is bent slightly and I'm just going to bring it out like this. See how pointy and jagged that is? I really need to trim really badly. So this way I'm not really going to get too many layers. Now you're going to keep taking the hair and using your first cut as a guide. Just go ahead and cut like so. I'm over directing so the hair that's near my ear is getting over directed up to save the length. work off of these layers. So now you're going to go ahead and take another section. Now depending on how much hair you have is going to be how thick of your sections, how thick your sections are going to be. I do not have that much hair on the top, so my sections on the top can be a little bit larger. If you have more hair, you obviously don't want to take thicker sections. You want to take thinner sections. Okay, now see I have layers in my hair. I have layers already in my hair. If I didn't have any layers and it was one length, I would be taking a lot more off. So again, I'm going to start And then do the same thing. This is my head. And I can see my guide. So I'm going to just keep that guide. Take your next section. Make sure you got all that hair. And you'll see your guide. Keep cutting. section As you can tell, I'm kind of over directing my head. I'm kind of moving my head in the way that I'm going. That's because I can't see, but if you're doing it on someone else, you're going to want to make sure that they're straight and you go ahead and do the moving. You know, you do the moving. But since I'm doing it on myself and I need to see what I'm doing, my head is obviously not going to be straight. I'm going to be cutting it in the angle that I can see. Check your comment and then check it. 
now. You just keep taking your pie sections throughout your whole head and you're going to bring it forward. This is the easiest, easiest technique for cutting hair. And it just gives you face framing long layers. Freehanded. So I'm just going to start with these longest layers and just slice it like that. So you can do it that way or you can come up the opposite way and do it this way. That's probably the so once you start getting like back here, you're gonna start cutting into your length. So go ahead and bring your head up. It's okay to bring this like to here forward, but then once you get to these pieces, you want to bring your head up. If you're trying to save your length, if you don't care about your length, go ahead and just chop away. That's gonna give you really choppy layers. But since I like long hair, I'm trying to keep my hair long, I'm going to sit up straight. And I'm going to incorporate these layers with the back. And the way I'm going to do that is just free. The safest way is to come up from the bottom and then meet it here because you can kind of see it better. Take the shortest layers like so and bring it down, or you can meet your length with that, which is what I'm going to do. So I met the length with this layer here, like that. See? Can you see that? One side's going to be harder for you than the other. That's just how it always goes. But just keep working it, figuring out which angle helps you to get that angle in. See, I cut this side totally different than I cut this side. top layer and then just check it like this. And you're going to see your guide. See your guide? My guide's right here. So now I'm just going to pin. Do it very slightly. Take your next section. Now you want to do this ultra slightly because this adds a lot more layers in. Especially if you don't have any, you don't really want to do this because this will add too many layers in your hair. 
So that is the most basic of basics, as I said. Be very careful when you flip your head upside down and you try to cut the layers like that because if you cut too much, you're going to have tons of layers and you might not like it. A little bit at a time is the key. That way if you mess up, you don't really tell. You can't really tell. But if you cut too much off, it takes forever to grow back. You don't want to do that. So even if you're cutting yourself or someone else, a little bit at a time, just a little bit, please, please start off a little bit. Okay, so now I'm ready for my toner. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.